Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, and in last episode we had a triple game episode that we came out of with two wins and a draw. So seven points puts us up to six, only three points away from second, but also only three points away from ninth. But today we're going to be taking on Concord, and we're going to be taking on Honolulu. Both teams we absolutely should be able to beat. As for energy, Thacker is pretty low, Greer's not all that high, same with Haynes, same with Peterson and Jin. So it might be after the tiring game last time, it might be a little more difficult for us to get things set. But Manchester versus Concord, Manchester in 6th place, Concord looking for, well, points. They've had 4 points this entire entire time. So Tubbs is going to start with the ball, gets the pass to, to Crandall. Now Crandall is definitely their biggest threat on offense, but Thornton is a very capable defender and manages to easily take that away. So Peterson, with the ball, is going to do a layoff pass to Aragon right there. Bassett moves over. So this isn't an easy cross, but he's going to be able to get it off at least. And that is saved by Villarreal. Now he's a pretty good goalkeeper. That's, that's the big thing here. He's got good hands. And Strong is moving back here. And Strong is just holding this. But, he's holding it right next to Hemphill, and Hemphill's unable to take it this time. So it's going to be Sisk coming down and trying to take it, and Sisk is unable to. So Strong, with the ball, is going to be able to get off a long pass and gets it by Hemphill to Kuhn. Kuhn tries to dribble by Hatfield, and Hatfield takes it. And down comes Cohen. Pass is going to go to Bradford here. Bradford is going to try and get it to Aragon. That doesn't work out. He comes over. And Crane takes this away. So, Crane has pretty good heading ability. I don't think he's going to challenge, though, if we go there. So, Hemp Hill against Strong, I think, is the better approach. Tubbs has the level 3 thing there. And Kuhn is going to be able to get off a cross missed by everyone. So Concord is actually showing a lot a lot more well, I'm not going to say heart, but a lot more skill than expected. And Hemphill has the ball. Loses it to Bassett. Bassett passing to Starnes and Starnes could run up the side and that's indeed what he's going to do. So I'm a bit surprised at how well they're playing at the moment. We're going to lay off past Bradford there, so they have to come up. They don't have anyone with slide tackle. Bassett is able to take this pretty easily from Bradford. And just moves down. So this is going to be Hatfield's turn. And yeah, we are all out of position and Hatfield's unable to take this. Concord is putting up a stronger fight than I expected. And the pass goes to Crow right in front of goal. And he's got... And he puts it away! 
Crow gets it by Hinojosa on just a regular shot. Conquered got lucky there. And Aragon's coming down. Alright, so the head play is going to happen regardless. And it's completely missed. So, I didn't know that he would challenge it regardless of position. Oh, I guess we have a corner, though. So, this is going to be Peterson. Sisk in back. Hemphill in front. Let's even up this game. Because I'm, I'm still surprised that Concord has managed to do as well as they have. Sisk takes the middle. And it's not necessary because Hemphill puts it away to tie up the game. Tubbs. Intercepted by Hatfield. Good start. And Kuhn tries to take it and is unable to. And that is halftime. Manchester and Concord tied 1-1. One one. It's, it's a closer game than I expected. Is there a change we can do that might make this easier on us? I'm not sure there is. So we're going to start the second half. And it's going to be up to Hemphill, or to Aragon and Hemphill, to give us the best chance we have. And Hemphill does it. Manchester takes a 2-1 lead. Now we need our defense to step up. Hatfield's unable to take that. It's going to be up to Crandall. Crandall moves down and loses it to, to Thornton. We're going to substitute Huggins in for Bradford. And he's going to go on the edge. Make it a little harder for them to do... Well, what they're what they're trying to do there. Once again, Peterson with the ball. He's going to lay off past Aragon here to give Hemphill a chance. No, not to give Hemphill a chance. <laughs> and the substitution has been made. Huggins is in position. It's going to be Cohen, who does get it by Aragon to Kuhn here. And now he has to go up the edge and get by Huggins. So I'm already already happy with the substitution that I made. And Huggins moves up here. Could pass to Aragon. Instead, Huggins is just going to hold this, and Hatfield will move slightly over. So it's going to be up to Rendell to take this away. And Rendell is unable to do so. Huggins with the ball. And back comes Bassett. Gonna do a lofted pass, and it's knocked away by Rendell. And now Huggins can't do anything with it. He literally can't do a single thing with the ball. Peterson moves over. Aragon is going to move down. And Rendell's going to get another chance, and this time is able to take it. The lofted pass tries to get it to Kuhn, and that's not working. Crandall comes over for it. We're not going slide tackle, we're just going regular tackle. Peterson with the ball. He's going to lay off past Sisk to the side there. And we're just, we're trying to hold on here. 
strong, unable to take it. And back comes Cohen. So Sisk is moving to the corner. Back comes Bassett. And we're going to try the break in. And Sisk gets by. Sisk on goal. He's going to go for the power shot and puts it away to give Manchester a 3-1 lead. That security is going to be going to be helpful. But Hatfield, Hatfield has had a really good game so far. But Tubbs can take it right back, and he does so. And just moves up. So it's going to be Hatfield trying to take this right back, which he does. And he's going to try and get it to Sisk, goes to Strong instead. And over comes Crandall. But Hemphill intercepts the long pass. And it's going to be up to Crane to take it back. And Crane fouls him. So how are they setting up here? Okay. Sisk is going to take the ball. Aragon goes there. Hemphill goes here. So, we could go for the shot. Or we could go for the pass. I'm liking the chances for Aragon and Hemphill better than the chances before. And Bassett outdueled Hemphill. But there are only three actions left. I think it is actually impossible for Concord to get back in this game. Crane moves up, and so does Cohen. So Hemphill takes the ball. He's going to pass to Aragon, and Aragon is going to give us a final chance, saved by Villa Villarreal. And that is game. Manchester comes away with a 3-1 victory. I was a little nervous after Crow got that shot by Hinojosa. But Hemphill and Sisk managed to calm us down and get us the victory. And we got a level up for Childress and for Sisk here. Nice control for Sisk. And no one is at even close to an upgrade yet. Got some fans, and let's look at the other games. Oklahoma City beat Sacramento. Oklahoma City is having a really good season. Bismarck beat Albuquerque, Memphis beat Tampa, Jacksonville beat San Jose, Madison beat Newark, and Honolulu beat Hartford. We are up to fifth, and now we are only three points away from the number one team. We've got a group of six teams here that are all within three points of each other. It's going to be a close season. And our next game will be against Honolulu. Honolulu, who just got their first win of the season and only have four points there. And following that, we have a game against Newark, the team that has won zero games the entire season. This is the easy stretch of our schedule. Although we do have Jacksonville after that. And then... Tampa and Manchester and Montgomery for the cup. But anyways, Honolulu and Manchester, we're traveling to Hawaii and we're looking for our fourth consecutive win. Neely with the ball, passes to Jeffers. So Jeffers is going to be moving up the side and gets by two players there. And with Childress moving over, he's going to be able to get off a cross unchallenged but missed. That miss by Masterson is big. Can we get it? No, we can't quite get it to... To Peterson. Now, let's look at their... 
They don't have anyone particularly strong on defense here. So I'm going to hold it with Hatfield and then we'll attack on the next turn. And it's going to be Masterson. He does have slide tackle. But now, coming up like this, goes for the slide tackle and fouls Hatfield. Unfortunately, no card for him. It's going to be Thacker coming over. And Thacker is going to be able to get off a cross here. Put away by Hemphill. 1-0. Good start. And, yeah, they are challenging on that side, so... I don't want to start Peterson over, but we might... Now, we'll, we'll rely on... Novak and Peterson being able to challenge this and once again he's able to get by but he goes to the corner off here so Childress is going to be able to get a chance on the ball first and he does get it Novak comes back passes to Hatfield Hatfield is once again going to hold this and it's going to be up they're bringing up McGuire all the way McGuire comes all the way up and does manage to take it from Hatfield. But loses it on the next possession. And Hemphill controls the ball. And he's just going to go for the shot. And it's deflected out by Monroe, but we got it on goal, surprisingly enough. So Thacker going to be there. Um, and we need how is the controls here the controls aren't aren't spectacular especially compared to there the best they have is Dalton I'm going to take the chance I'm going to put Hemphill in there and just end the turn and Thacker is going to try and do there. We'll at least have the middle, probably, if he's not able to keep position. And he is. Hemphill with position makes it look easy. 2 nothing, Manchester lead. And at some point, Peterson or Novak's going to be able to take this. Never mind, they're not. What a move. Jeffers is looking looking like a gazelle out there. We'll give Hatfield a bit of a break and put Spence in. But Jeffers has not shown that he's capable of Knowing the other stuff necessary here. Spens gets the pass to Peterson. And Peterson is going to put Thacker out on the edge. So who's going to be coming over? It's going to be Matson coming, coming over. And he does manage to take it. He has long pass, so he could try and get it over to Jeffers or someone. <laughs> Goes to Crockett, though. And unfortunately for them... Thacker is here. Oh, but Thacker is unable to get this on the slide tackle. So it's going to be Peterson coming over. And he gets off the press. And down comes De Leon. So the pass is going to be trying to get it to De Leon. Doesn't work out. De Leon has the ball. So this time it's going to be McCready going for the press to give Huggins a chance at the tackle. He's unable to do so, but we have the press on. It's going to be very difficult for them to get by. Pearson's just going to move slightly down. I don't know why he got an attacking midfield upgrade there. And has Aragon already been in? No, he hasn't. So he's going to take Peterson's place. And that, as we suspected, 
that move wasn't going to work. Spends, passes to Aragon, Aragon, passes to Thacker, and that is halftime. Manchester up 2 to nothing. I don't think we need to do any substitutions, and we will start with the ball in the second half. Thacker moving to the corner. It's too easy. It is too easy for Hemp Hill here. Now, I'm, temp I'm tempted to put in Jin, but I also don't necessarily... Eh. If we have someone injured or suspended, I guess they're just gonna have to... We're gonna be undermanned. But we have a 3 nothing lead. We're just gonna take the chance. De Leon starting with the ball. And he manages to get by 1 and 2. And goes for the shot, kicked away by Childress. Childress with the ball, he's going to pass to Novak. Novak. He's going to pass to Aragon. They're doing a double press, and Masterson's coming up for this. And just manages to take it. He's going to hold this, but Aragon's able to take it anyways. Pass goes to Thacker. Thacker is going to go out to the corner. It's going to be Matson again trying to, trying to take this. And he's unable to. The first time. But he gets it the second time. And in goes... Hemphill. So Hemphill is going to be coming over. We're going to get the press off with Thacker to give Hemphill a chance. And he's unable to take it. I'm going to move Childress back in. Matson does the long pass, gets it by Thacker. Jeffers with the ball. Moves slightly out to the corner. Gets by Spens, no, but Spens was able to kick that out of bounds. So they have... They're only going to Neely. And we're going to have Spens challenge this. And we'll put McCready in the way. Since they've got De Leon on this side, we don't have to worry about the break-in. And Masterson moves back. But he's still going to have to get it by. And they do get it by Childress. And Masterson finishes to give Honolulu their first goal of the game. I think it may be too little too late, though. And Jin gives us a fourth goal. It's good to know that if Hemphill is unavailable for some reason. Jin is perfectly capable of fulfilling that role. And Huggins manages to take this. But De Leon takes it right back. We're gonna move Thacker all the way back to get off a press. Now, I would have loved to do the slide tackle with Huggins there, but that wasn't happening. And we're gonna press with Huggins as well to give, well, give Thornton basically nothing. You're also going to press. We're all going to press De Leon. And he tries the rainbow feint unsuccessfully against Thornton, but he does have a chance, and he fouls Thornton. Please not be an injury. Oh, it's a one-day injury. It's a one-day injury. Thornton... We can't even substitute him out, so he's... So we're just going to be short-manned for the moment. 
Pass is going to Aragon. Aragon. Passing to Jin. Jin is gonna take the very unlikely shot. Kicked away by Matson. And in goes Masterson. Matson and Masterson. Passes, gets it to De Leon. And he does a shot, kicked away by Huggins. And of course, he's motivated now. So we are going to get a press off there. Huggins is going to go for the tackle. It was very unlikely to succeed anyway. Jin moves into the box. Aragon moves over. And that is game Manchester with a 4-1 victory and our fourth consecutive victory in preparation for our next game against the bottom team in the entire league. This has been a good stretch, and look at that. Plus three control. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Spens gets his first level up. And no one is close to upgrading. Haynes basically did nothing that entire game. And the other games, Jacksonville beat Madison, San Jose beat Tampa, Memphis beat Bismarck, Oklahoma City got by Albuquerque, Hartford beat Newark, and Sacramento had a close game against Concord. So we are up to fourth, two points behind Memphis and Sacramento, three points behind Oklahoma City. And with the tied for the fourth best goal differential. As for lead, league leaders, Hemphill currently leads in goals. Thacker leads in assists. Hatfield is number two in tackles. And Hinojosa is no longer in the top ten because they're not even getting shots on goal at the moment. So that is it for this episode. In next episode, we'll be taking on Newark and Jacksonville. And then we've got the Tampa, Montgomery, and Bismarck thing to wrap up the first half of the season. But we're moving pretty quickly here. And I'm liking it. I'm liking the results at the moment. And I hope you are too and you're enjoying the episodes. Leave a like if you are. Comment below your thoughts. Subscribe to keep following Manchester's journey. And I hope to see you all next time. Have a great day and happy gaming.